Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I'm in my bed. I just felt like sitting down in my bed, drinking a Zarafa's coffee, eating a Zarafa's avo toast, and having a yarn. So that's what we're doing today. I was actually going to film this in the car, but the car was too loud. I couldn't turn it off because Theo was in there and lots of cars driving past. It was just a bit much. So I come home, got my avo toast. I'm absolutely starving. And I'm basically just going to answer some questions. I asked you guys on Instagram if you had any questions for me and you sent some through. So I'm going to answer them. Mm. Oh my God. Honestly, Giraffe's Smash Ave is so good. And I think it's purely because of the bread. The bread is so tasty. The avocado, it's kind of questionable. Kind of looks like baby vomit or baby food or both. But it tastes good. Mm. Iced Americano, dash of oat milk, and sugar-free caramel. Amazing. I thought before I get into some questions, I would do a quick little life update. Am I in the frame? Yes. Um, because I started something very exciting yesterday. And I've been talking about it for a while, but I didn't want to say anything until it was actually happening. And it's nothing crazy. But I started a new job, which is really exciting was very nerve-wracking but I honestly just thinking about it made me so happy just getting up getting ready and going to a job I haven't been properly employed by someone in about five years which obviously has been amazing working for myself has been an absolute blessing but seeing as I'm studying to be a PT um, a personal trainer I wanted to get my foot in the door at a gym I wanted to get comfortable around people again so I thought by getting a job in a gym it would just get my foot in the door build my confidence up and that is what I've done so I'm working at Anytime Fitness I'm not training anyone yet because I'm not qualified that's up till October but I'm going to be able to just meet people learn to be in the gym I'm going to be able to shadow PTs so it's going to be a really good opportunity and I'm really really excited so it's only one day a week at the moment it's super super casual honestly it is perfect because I'm still going to have a lot of time to do all my filming and everything else I need to do all my studying I'm going to be a busy girl but I'm very excited I'm very happy I, it felt just really weird getting ready and driving to a job that sounds so weird to say but I have worked for myself for a long time so it just felt very different but I was super super excited honestly I was on cloud nine after so that's my little update nothing crazy just wanted to share that with you I'm feeling very proud of myself for putting myself out there doing different things to try and learn as much as I can for the next stage of my life so yeah but let's get into some questions right after I have a bite of other the first one is if you could move anywhere where would you move and then in brackets it says not Australia hmm if it was in Australia if I had to move somewhere other than here it'd be Sydney but that's not the question maybe London but I don't know if I could deal with the weather I would just love the fact that you can catch a train to a different country like that is insane that would be amazing but the weather I don't know if I could deal with it realistically so realistically maybe California because it's similar weather to here but it's different you can go to Mexico maybe that our next question is do you think sex between friends is possible I believe so I think if you have good communication you set ground rules and you make sure you know exactly what's going on and you just communicate with each other as long as there's communication you know exactly where you stand then nothing bad can happen so yeah Oh, I need a bite of avo for this one. Holy moly. Would you like to know how or when you die? Oh my god, I don't know. What would you guys choose? Maybe how? I don't, wouldn't want to know when. But then what if you found out when and they're like 101? You're like, woo! But it could be like tomorrow. And then if you know how, you're going to be trying to avoid that your whole life. Oh my god. I can't choose. I'm just going to go with how. I'd rather know how, not when. Yeah. Mm. I kind of want to save this because I'm driving to Noosa after this to spend the weekend with my family. I need some entertainment for my drive. I get so bored. Next question is, oh, speaking of weekends, what's an ideal weekend for you? Alright. Let's plan this out. Friday, finish your work for the day, you're getting ready, Theo wants to come in. It's Friday, getting ready, 
finish your work for the day, you've got a nice dinner with the girls booked, you go and have a few drinks, you enjoy some really yummy food, then you come home, the next morning, you're up early, you're taking Theo for a walk, going to get a bagel, going to get a coffee, you're going for a picnic at lunch, and then you come home with a bunch of snacks, and watch a movie, and then on Sunday, what do you do on Sunday? Go to the beach, just sounds like heaven. So nice little dinners here and there, picnics, walks, food. That's me, that's me done. The next question is, what's something you hate but Freya loves? I don't know, we're pretty similar to be honest. Maybe coriander, she doesn't mind coriander and I find it disgusting. I couldn't think of anything worse, but she likes it. So maybe that. Next question is, if you had to redo one year of your life, what year would it be? That's a hard one because I feel like I honestly would, wouldn't want to, like if I had to, I wouldn't want to because I feel like everything that I've done has led me to where I am and is leading to me where I'm supposed to be. But if I had to, maybe 2019, only because I would move to Brisbane earlier, start studying earlier and just be further ahead in life. That's all I'd change. But apart from that, Pretty happy with everything that's happened. I feel like it's leading me to where I'm supposed to be and I'm learning a lot. So yeah, probably 2019, I just like start my study earlier. Avo time. Mm, look at that. I love the focus on this camera. How good. Are you guys craving Avo toast now? I know I would be. Mm. Next question is relationship deal breakers for you. Um, I think cheating and not being loyal. I think that's a given for everyone. Um, someone who's not really family orientated because I'm really family orientated. Maybe this might sound conceited, but I feel like I would love to be in a relationship with someone who loves health and fitness as much as I do. So someone who really doesn't care about their health and fitness would kind of be a deal breaker for me because it is such a massive part of my life. I don't know if that sounds bad, but I would just love to have a partner who shares that passion. It doesn't have to be to my extent, but just a little bit. So we could go to the gym together. We could cook healthy meals. I would really love that. People who don't make time for you, I think I would love to have someone that really loves, likes to make time for you and wants to hang out with you, which should be a given, but I just feel like that's important. Someone who wants to spend quality time with you, so someone who doesn't do that, I wouldn't like. <laughs> What's your... Well, I don't know why I'm laughing at that because the first thing that I thought of. What's your biggest fear? <laughs> it's not funny. My biggest fear is definitely losing a family member, for sure. 100% every day. But my little, little fear that is a big fear that isn't as big as losing a family member is cockroaches. I hate cockroaches. I think they are disgusting. I'd rather see a spider. I'd rather see a snake. I'd rather see a shark. I hate cockroaches. And they fly. Ugh. Mm -mm. Nope. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I'm neither. I'm an ambivert, which is the one in the middle. I love being around people. I love going to social events and being around a bunch of people, but my social bar fills up quickly and it takes a lot of energy out of me. So I'm able to go to an event and be loud and communicate and hang out with everyone and absolutely love it. But then when I'm home, I feel really drained because it takes a lot of energy out of me and I need time alone after that. Um, See, so yeah, I'm somewhere in the middle. Oh, this is a hard one. Donuts or fries? Oh, that's honestly sweet or salty. And I'm going to go salty, so probably fries. What would you guys choose? I'm definitely a, a salty, a salty girl. <laughs> I like salty foods. No, it's, is it sweet or salty or sweet or savoury? Savoury. So yeah, fries. Next one asked, are you seeing anyone at the moment? And no, I am not. I am single as a Pringle and I'm happy. I'm not in any rush. I'm just doing my thing right now. Working on me. Very cliche, but I'm honestly just living my best life. And um, if it happens, it happens. I'm in no rush. Um, next question is, what would be your number one makeup tip? Um, for me, something that's really important for me, I love like a nice, smooth, bright under eye. And I think the key to getting that is a good concealer and a good under eye setting powder. I feel like a nice, bright, smooth under eye it just transforms your makeup, it makes your eyes look brighter. It like highlights your face, highlights your eyes. It's so maybe a good, good under eye setting powder. Invest in a good one of those. I use the Huda Beauty, I forget what it's called, I'll put a photo here. But that's one I use and I really love it. I use that over the... Um, Oh, what's it? What's my concealer called? Why does my brain?
may not work. I'll put a photo of my concealer here as well because I've bloody forgotten it. I use it every single day. How have I forgotten the name? Am I okay? Probably not. Last question. Scrunch or fold? Fold. I used to scrunch. No, I fold. What a weird question to end this video on. Anyways, and that is going to be it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this very random chatty video. I just felt like sitting down doing a casual video, especially if you watched my last video, you would have seen how it ended and how I have been feeling this week. It's been a couple of days since I filmed that video and I am feeling a little better, but I'm definitely still dealing with just a lot of self-doubt and it's really affecting my ability to be myself because I'm in my head so much. So I am working on it. I'm going home to Noosa, like I said, hanging out with my family and just, I'm not going to feel more anything. I'm literally just going to chill, switch off and hopefully feel a lot better on Monday and feel like I can restart and have a fresh week and just be feeling better. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from me. I hope you guys have an amazing day or an amazing night and I will be seeing you in my next video. Bye!